The UAE's ambassador to the United Nations, Her Excellency Lana Nusaybe, has urged all parties involved in the Israel-Gaza conflict to fully comply within their obligations under international humanitarian law and ensure the safety of civilians. Speaking to reporters after an emergency UN Security Mouse Council meeting on Monday, the ambassador amplified demands for a ceasefire in Gaza. The number of trucks going in are very clearly not at the scale required. They're not even at the scale that existed prior uh, to the war on Gaza, so clearly insufficient, and in particular with the ongoing hostilities, even less sufficient than they were before. Um, this is a requirement of international humanitarian law, and we are all committed uh, to doing what we can with partners on the ground. Egypt has played a very important role on this, um, but also with other partners on the ground, with Israel, um, in the Gaza Strip, uh, as well as with partners from around the world who have contributed uh, to the devastating humanitarian situation to try and scale up at the, uh, at the scale that the UN has itself asked for, and that is quite a large scale up that needs to happen. I mean, just today in my national capacity, I'll mention that the UAE president has launched uh, an emergency field hospital that will be set up in Gaza. Five aircraft have left Abu Dhabi airport this morning and will be arriving uh, in the Al Arish uh, airstrip shortly. And we will try and set up an emergency field hospital in Gaza, uh, crossing through the correct borders. Um, we've also announced that we will be taking 1,000 Palestinian children who require medical treatment along with their families to come and rehabilitate in the UAE. So we are working on all of these fronts to try and help people who have just seen far too much suffering already.